Hello, everybody. Hiya, hiya, hiya. I hope you are doing well. We had a fun time yesterday. We're going to have a fun time tonight. We got cartoon trivia coming your way. And you were talking about cartoons yesterday. We didn't even need to prompt you, but we enjoyed doing it. So we asked today, what is your favorite cartoon series? Here are just a few, just a smattering of the answers. By the way, we did have someone just come in, which is Shirlene B. 2017, who said, Hello, all. I would say I'm a huge Popeye fan, as well as the Flintstones, Tom and Jerry, and a host of others. We got Yard Mule, who's shouting out Space Ghost, Johnny Quest, Superheroes, Pink Panther, and the Anthony Aardvark. And, of course, uh, just a lot of great ones in there. We got Brittany Lynn, who loves the Fairly Odd Parents. Angela M. Kearns also loves the Flintstones. Mesm loves Steven Universe. Very positive, lovely show. Great music. The great Rebecca Sugar. Rick Ho Kansen loves the Transformers. Beatrix 309. She's going with the Looney Tunes, and who wouldn't? Ohio State Forever loves Casper the Friendly Ghost. What a sweet cartoon. Those were always so sweet. Renee A2, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Another classic, fantastic. We love Rocky and Bullwinkle in this household. Little Tony, 1958, going with Deputy Dog, who got a few votes. Few people showing Deputy Dog some love in the comments. Alex Therese going Thundercats, Thundercats, Thundercats. Oh! Y2K Catwoman loves the Jetsons. You met them all. George Jetson, Jane, his wife, daughter Judy, their boy Elroy. You know, the dog Astro, the whole deal. Joe D. Moore loves Felix the Cat and his bag of tricks. DJ McMenu, Scooby-Doo in South Park. Maxi Multigamer 5, Silverhawks, and Deja Voodoo, Mr. Magoo. Trivia. Play some trivia. It's the modern cell phone game for you. From the town where you live, it's the funnest thing that you can do. Welcome to yet another cartoon edition of Daily Trivia Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. I am your host, the captain of Cringe, and you'll be ready to eat some Bronto ribs after you compete for today's grand prize. Take a look. That's $1,000. And when you correctly answer 10 multiple choice trivia questions about cartoons, of course, you will win your share of it. Also, in this game, you will earn one bonus SB after every question you get right. That's, that's, that is after that is question, after number question number one. That one's a freebie. freebie. After, after that, after you, get that you get a bonus SB for every question, for every question you get right. And that's true. That's true. Even, even if you've been eliminated from winning the grand prize. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. You win the grand you win the prize, prize today. You get a nice piece of that $1,000. You also you also get, get whatever, bonus whatever bonus SB you earned along the way added on top automatically. If you don't win the grand prize, you don't automatically get your bonus SB. You will have them banked, but you will have to claim them before you leave the app. In order to keep them, you do that at the end of the game a little bit. Appears on screen, on screen, you claim your SB, and they are they yours. Are it yours. is, just, it is that just, simple. just that simple. So don't switch so to number 10. You can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize. Two ways to do that. One is using SB. The other is with a free rejoin. And if you click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening, you can get free rejoins by watching videos. But of course, this week is a second chance week, which means you are getting three free rejoins for each game you play. And they are credited before the following game begins. I don't know why. This is the wrong one. We don't want that. We want this. Is this what we want? Is that the better one? There we go. That's a much better background. We like that way better. Anyway, you stick around. You play the game. You get three free rejoins. Everybody who played yesterday got free rejoins. They know what I'm talking about. And each game, finally, we give away five 100 SB prizes to five players who win and claim at least one SB in the game. Here are the winners from Monday, all of whom have been credited already. It happens just that fast. Congratulations to every single one of you. And for those of you who don't see your name up there, I want that for you. You want that for you. So keep playing and claiming because next time the winner could be you. All right, the comments have been locked out by a saber-toothed tiger, so let's just start without them while they're shouting, Wilma! Here is question number one. What powers Fred Flintstone's car? Is it his feet, a combustion engine, or a saber-toothed tiger? How does he make that car go? 
The Bronto Ribs, I mentioned previously, tip over the family car during the opening credits. They go to the drive-in theater, but that won't damage the car's engine because really all they need are Fred's feet. That's right, it's a foot powered car 98 percent of you getting that one right well done you may notice uh in the in our tweets today we are at uh at sb daily trivia on the twitter we did a little fun fact about the car about its name i think it's called a can canopy saurus something like that because it's got a little canopy on top they the cars have different names the model names they went deep on this show and you are going to go deep in this game i believe in you we have over sixteen thousand six hundred people in grand prize contention and question number two is on the way it is worth one bonus sb if you get it right here it is q2 on futurama what was the robot bender bending rodriguez made for is it bending steel girders dancing or baking cookies what was he designed to do bender bending rodriguez played by the great john dimaggio He's the best at drinking, smoking, and causing trouble, but that wasn't his programming. Bender was built to do what his name suggests, bending and straightening steel girders. That is the answer. He's bending robot. Bender bending Rodriguez. It's all in there. I gave you all the clues, officer. 76% of you getting that one right. 12% go with dancing. 12% go with baking cookies. He'll, he will dance sometimes. It's not what he was made for. It's just something he's good at. Going, do-do-do, do-do-do-do. I've assigned Bender. I'm looking at it right now in a little box. My buddy John signed it. What a good guy. What a great character. What a great show. We got, of the 24% of you, got eliminated. Most of you coming right back in, and most of those people doing it for free. That's what Second Chance Week's all about. And we are on to question number three now, worth one bonus SB. If you get it right, here it is. What cartoon sees Finn and Jake battling evil in the land of ooh? Is it the Fist of the North Star, Teen Titans, or Adventure Time? Finn and Jake. Another John DiMaggio quiz. He's, be, he's all over this stuff. A weird, funny, and touching show that captured imaginations for 10 seasons. It was one of the jewels of the Cartoon Network, RIP. I'm talking about Adventure Time, of course. Adventure Time is the answer. 71% of you getting that one right. Well done. 26% going with Teen Titans. They're out in, the, in a version of the DC world, not the land of ooh, unfortunately. But... We're going to see how many of the 29% of you who did not get that come back. And it looks like it's going to be just a little over half of you. Not bad. As we move on to question number four, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Shirt Tales featured a character who sounded like what classic movie star? Is it John Wayne, Humphrey Bogart, or Lucille Ball? This is old school Saturday morning cartoons. The shirt tails, the little messages that lit up on their shirts, remember? People of a certain age know the shirt tails is an essential part of NBC's early to mid-80s Saturday morning lineup. The crew included Bogey, the orangutan who sounded like Humphrey Bogart. That's right, Humphrey Bogart, sweet hot. He called everybody sweet hot because that is the key to a Humphrey Bogart impression. 53% of you getting that one right. Well done. That was a toughie. Well done. And of the 40% of you that got eliminated, over two-thirds of you jumping right back in. Still over 11,000 people in grand prize contention. And we're going to move right along in this one to question number five, worth one bonus SB. If you get it right, here it is. What is the name of the Scooby-Doo gang's van? Is it the Educated Guestmobile, the Mystery Machine, or the Detective Driver? What is the name of that real cool van? If you're a bad person who's running an evil scam that involves wearing an intricate mask, the last thing that you ever want to see is the mystery machine pulling up in your town. You don't want that at all. Mystery machine is the answer. 99% of you getting that one right. Well done. That's what I'm talking about. That's Q1 type of numbers. And I bet a bunch of you who are not in the running for the grand prize anymore just picked up a bonus SB. That's why you stick around, my friends. We're already halfway done this game. Moving on now to question number six. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Who is constantly trying to catch the Roadrunner? Is it Foghorn Leghorn, Pepe Le Pew, or Wile E. Coyote? Who is constantly trying to catch the Roadrunner? Beep, beep. Bloop, 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 bloop. That's my little impression for you. It's a shame Warner shelved that Looney Tunes movie that was supposed to come out this year where the Acme Corporation is taken to court by Wile E. Coyote since nothing he gets from them ever works. What a great premise for a movie. I wish I could see it. 99% of you knew that was the answer. And I'm holding a small sign as I stepped over a cliff hanging in the air going, good job. And then I step back because that's my cartoon superpower. Let's move on to question number seven now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Ookla the Mock is the ally of which cartoon hero? Is it Blue Falcon, Space Ghost, or Thundar the Barbarian? 
Ookla the Mock. Kind of sounds like a Star Wars-y kind of thing, but nope, too early. In the distant future, technology and sorcery exist side by side, and Ookla the Mock travels alongside a native son of Numeria named Thundar the Barbarian. Thundar the Barbarian is the answer. I think Ookla the Mock was like... <laughs> he made those kind of noises, didn't really speak, but you know. Uh, mumbling waters run deep. 48% of you getting that one right. Well done to the 52% of you that were eliminated. About half of you coming back in. Not bad. Not bad at all. Only three questions left to go in this one. Next one is worth one bonus SB. If you get it right, it's question number eight. Who is the Lord of the Thundercats? Is it Panthero, Lion-O, or Chitara? Somebody earlier said that Thundercats is their favorite cartoon, so they should get this one. More 80s cartoons? Yes, although this one continues to live on in new series and stories being told. No matter which version you get, The Lord of the Thundercats? That's lion o lion -O is the answer. 67% of you getting that one right. We're down to just 5,100 people in grand prize contention, but we are going to get some of you rejoining of the one-third of you that did not get that one. We're getting about 20% of those people back, 25%, somewhere in that range. And we are going to move on now to question number nine. Second to last question worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. What kind of animal is Bluey? Is he a lizard, a dog, or cat? I mean, everybody loves Bluey. Even if you don't have kids, you're like, that's a good show. I think I like it a lot. If you have a little kid in your life, there's a very good chance you've seen Bluey, Australia's greatest import, and the one dog that could give Snoopy a run for his money in terms of popularity with the kids. You heard what I said. He's a dog. 5,645 of you knew that answer, and you are ready for our final question. But first, did you know... Second Chance Week is just getting warmed up. We got more to come, so join us tomorrow. Play that game. More cartoon-themed questions, but different cartoons, different questions. The same three free rejoins coming your way if you show up. You got tomorrow, and you got the day after that. Be sure you get all of those free rejoins. And enjoy all these great backgrounds our design team made while you're at it. Also, quick reminder that there are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Daily Trivia outside of our live games. One is through the Daily Trivia Challenge. That is the quick, hostless version of our game that you can play on your schedule up to twice per day. Second is by clicking the More Ways to Earn button wherever you find it in the app. Now, both of those are going to get you SB towards your daily goal. But when you click More Ways to Earn and you come here and you do it every single day, you are building a winning habit because that is how you access the TapJoy wall filled with quick, easy-to-complete offers that will help you check Daily Discover off of your to-do list in mere minutes. You're going to have fun. You're going to rack up SB. And all the ways I've talked about are going to help you inch further and further or take huge leaps towards your daily goal. So please check that out, especially TapJoy. That is a winning habit. You're missing out on easy SB if you're not coming and checking that out every single day. You should be using this app even when we don't have live games. And I would say I'm going to check on you, but I have no way of doing that. So I'm just going to work on the honor system. We have 5,665 people vying for a piece of our $1,000 grand prize. Over 16,700 of you have stuck around till the end. And there is one more bonus SB up for grabs if you can correctly answer question number 10. Here we go. Which of the following PBS animated shows is a spinoff of a live action show? Is it Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood, Arthur, or Sid the Science Kid? Which of those is a spinoff of a famous live-action children's show? Yeah, you're getting it. Sometimes the characters that get spinoffs are unexpected. Of all the folks in the neighborhood of make-believe from Mr. Rogers, it was Daniel Tiger who got to have his own neighborhood. Daniel Tiger's neighborhood is the answer. 4,312 of you knew that answer, and you are splitting our grand prize today. Well done to you. Let's meet a few of these grand prize winners. I sure would like to. Dream McKenzie, this is no dream. You are here, and you have gone to the winner's circle. Zeno, Queen 24, congratulations. Miller Anaya, congratulations. Allison 90, you did it. And my love angel, 
1991. What a sweet name. Congratulations on the win to you and to everybody else who won the game today. And those of you who stuck around and claimed your bonus SB. Now that you have all these new SB in your account, you know what to do with them, of course. Redeem them for PayPal Cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Great job today. More cartoon trivia and free rejoins heading your way tomorrow. Thank you for playing Daily Trivia Live, and we will see you then, my friends.